All right, being that today's my birthday and first day I'm uh, launching this YouTube channel, so I'm gonna do one more squat video for you guys. Um, recently I had a comment from follower uh, when I posted a client video about not going deep enough on squats. Um, and here's the thing about going deep enough on squats. Uh, your strength curve is gonna be uh, drastically different. Um, what I call it is the oh shit point. You know, like I'm strong, I'm strong, I'm strong, I'm strong, oh shit. The bottom drops out. All of a sudden, your strength drops out the fucking bottom. So, you know, you go down, you go down, you go down to a certain point, like right above parallel or right at parallel, and you sink like another inch, and your strength goes from fucking 405 to 225. And you just bottom out, and your strength is gone. And sometimes you just get buried. So, what you're doing is you're actually at the mercy of the weakest link in the chain on that movement. You know, your body, your muscles, your quads, your glutes, your hamstrings, your adductors, everything is able to move a certain amount of weight to the parallel point. Once you break that parallel point, um, based on who you are, rough number, that's cut into, you know, it's, it's reduced by 25, 30% or whatever that number may be. It's going to differ from person to person. However, the fact that it's reduced by whatever percentage that's all the weight that you're able to use because you're coming down with that weight and you have to hit that point in the range of motion. However, from parallel all the way to the top, you're able to use more weight. So you're actually reducing the load that you could use by trying to accommodate that last inch or two of the movement. So what we do is we just simply cut that part out of the movement. Um, we can work on the strength out of the hole later. Um, if it's even necessary, we're bodybuilding, we're not power lifters. No one's measuring our depth. We're just trying to get big legs. The biggest my legs ever were were the video that I just posted on my Instagram where I was Smith squatting two parallel with the stopper set so it wouldn't even let me sink below parallel. That was the exact point where my strength would drop out. So it stopped me from going past that point and my legs just got bigger and bigger and bigger. I got to the point where I was doing seven plates a side of the Smith machine. So that's pretty heavy and my legs were about 31 and a half inches which is pretty goddamn big, but I don't have great shape, so it doesn't look like that on stage. That's just another topic entirely. The less shape you have, the more muscle you need to make it look like you have shape. So what you wanna do is you wanna stop at that point where your strength is the best. And even if you're worried about training your muscles through a fuller range of motion and hitting every point in that range of motion, well, it doesn't have to be every set, every rep, every exercise. We can get a bigger stretch on the muscle later in the workout or at a different point when those muscles are somewhat fatigued, it's a little bit safer, and you don't use as much weight. So if I were squatting for you, I would start here. Now, I don't have a stomach, this is my shirt. <laughs> so I'm here. I can squat to here, to here, to here, to here, to here, and I'm real strong through here. I feel real tight in the hips and everything. The second I come lower, I can feel that tension shift out of my hip flexors, out of my RF, and I can tell that those muscles are really, really lengthened and their strength is impaired at that point. They're at their weakest point. So I'm very, very weak there. And again, I'm compromising the load that I can use to load and um, you know efficiently stimulate the muscles that I'm trying to target. So again, it's my opinion, you don't have to squat deep. You just have to get as deep as you can where you're strong. Now this doesn't mean do half reps at the top where you're only using your hips. Obviously you gotta get very, very close to parallel, but Find out where that oh shit point is and just basically tap it. Don't sink into it or the bottom drops out and the weight and the load you use is compromised. 